G'day guys, welcome back to the channel. Just a quick video here, I noticed there seems to be quite a few people having difficulties upgrading iNav. If you're new to the hobby, I guess maybe, it can be quite daunting to set a plane up or a drone up to successfully fly, and it is, it, it's a complex thing. So I'm just gonna do a video, I might do a few videos like this, but this is in particular gonna be just a video on how I update the firmware on iNav, and I'm gonna do it with my Alpha Strike. Just to let you know, this has already got the latest version, so all I'm going to do is overwrite what I've got on the plane now anyway. So let's just assume we're running iNav 7 or less. Uh, in some cases, you're going to have to install the next version up if you're on an older version. So what we need to do, we're going to connect our USB up to our computer. which should detect on iNav. Okay, once we're connected, I can see my COM port up the top here. I'm, I'm using COM port, port four, could be different uh, for you. So what we wanna do first, I'm gonna connect. Okay, I can see, right, I'm, I am running iNav ad, like I said, but we're assuming I'm running iNav seven in, for this test. So what I will do, I'm gonna go down, this is what everyone should do. You go down to your CLI first. And we're going to do a diff all. You should have a diff all for all of your planes. So hit the diff all button at the bottom here. We'll click that. That brings up all your diff all file. So what we want to do is save to file. And I make a folder for each of my specific planes. And that's what I do. I create a diff all folder and it's saved in the folder of the specific plane. Okay, so once that's done, you've got your copy of your default file. We're gonna disconnect and come back to your start screen here where we're gonna go into the firmware flasher tab down here. We'll click that and most of the times it will automatically detect the flight controller that's in your craft. Full chip erase, I don't bother with the rest, but I've got full chip erase on. Um, I'm gonna choose the latest firmware so in other words I'm going to just reinstall this again over what I've already got so I'm going to click iNav 8 because I'm theoretically wanting to install iNav 8 and we're going to load the firmware online and that brings it up version 8 iNav version 8 for the Maytech F405TE which is the board that's running in my Alpha Strike. So we can have a quick read through here if you want to do all that. Um, upgrading from previous releases. This is important if you're running older. Upgrading from iNav 7 and 7.1. It's just a basic uh, install by the look of that. So you, it says we're backing up the configuration in the CLI with a default command, which is what we just did, and save to our folder. We've downloaded the uh, iNav Configurator 8 and we're going to flash iNav 8 with full chip erase option enabled. Okay, so let's go down and what we'll do, we will, you can read all this if you want to, but right down the very bottom here, I go down here and we're going to flash the firmware. So click flash. It's erasing what's on my craft now. We'll just give that time. It takes a little bit of time, but whatever you do, don't disconnect your craft while this is happening. Or you can brick your board. So just let it do its thing. It shouldn't take a huge amount of time. Play a bit of music while you're waiting for it, or go and drink your coffee, or whatever you do. But it does take a little bit of time. Now it goes to verifying the uh, stall and it should say success once it's done. There it is, programming successful. So what we wanna do now is, um, we can go back to our welcome tab, but what I like to do is disconnect. So I'm gonna disconnect here, all right? And what we'll do is just reconnect that back up, like that. And Everything's ready to go. Let's connect again. Now it comes up here, default values. 
you can keep your current settings if you want. The Alpha strikes a delta wing, so if this is a brand new plane, um, and I've got no setup on here whatsoever, I'm going to choose delta wing. So let's click delta wing. Anything else that's got a tail, you click that obviously. But I'm going to go delta wing for this, um, just to just for this uh, purpose. Radio receiver wizard. I'm going to leave all this. I'm not going to worry about any of this. Skip, and I'm going to skip that as well. Let it reboot. Now what we're going to do is go back into our CLI and we're going to go into load from file. You're going to open up your default file and you're going to click the execute. So your default fi file should come in here. You can read through it if you want. Click execute and that will put it into the CLI. Let it go. The red that you see coming up at times it's worth having a look at that. Just quickly go up and have a quick look at some of those red. Okay, so it's saying here error, please fix errors and save. So just give a scroll up. Um, a lot of the times it's not, you don't need to worry. Um, so that error I'm not worrying about, I'm not worrying about that error, that's all good. Invalid command because they changed from uBlock 7 now, it's just uBlock, so you could um, delete and change that, but it should automatically change it anyway. I don't think you can delete it there, no. So it'll, it should automatically change that anyway. Sorry guys, I've just I'll just pause you there for a minute. So I'm just I've just come back into that firmware flasher tab before and we'll scroll down. It's just regarding those red errors it's showing. So the red errors are there because they've made changes to the profile a CLI command. It's been renamed to control profile and not profile as it is here, like profile one. So that's the only thing. I haven't um changed anything it's just automatically overwritten those um, when I've installed iNav8 same with the uBlocks uBlock 7 is no longer an option it's incorporated into uBlocks anyway so you won't have to change anything in that regards uh, LPF uh, there's a few issues a few changes there so they'll just be be erased and that will save to our plane and iNav will reboot and everything should be set up as is if you go through everything that's what i normally try and just go back through everything to make sure yeah my calibrations are still done mixer uh, it's a flying wing everything's how it once was my outputs tab is all set up how it was Ports tab is all set up. My GPS is in UART 5, UART 2 for my RX. Configuration, a quick run over here. You can see a barometer has been chosen. Everything's there. Everything should be back to how it was once you've copied and pasted your default file that you created originally back in the CLI and then run, run it. So everything's there now. But it's still worth checking. That's I always like to go over it. Fail safe, especially return to home. Tuning advanced tuning. So that's basically all I do, um, just to update my my planes. Um, it's not a hard process, really. It, it takes a bit to get wrap your head around, I guess, at times if you've never done it before. But once you've done it a few times, um, you'll you'll learn. and it's not actually that bad to do. Another thing that's worth doing once you've done a firmware update is to hook your plane up before you fly and make sure your control surfaces are going the correct way. Everything's working in this receiver tab here as it should and also go through your modes as well just to make sure everything's, not, nothing's gonna surprise you when you throw it up in the air next, but that's all set up. GPS is working, you can see the total messages going up. Uh, my OSD will be set 
to how I always set it up to. I try and keep all my planes the same screen pretty much so I know when I'm flying I'm looking in the same direction for my my uh, telemetry or my data and that's all correct too. So that's pretty much it guys that's um, it in a nutshell so any changes you make click save or save and reboot but other than that that's it that's my update of my alpha strike to inav 8 hope that helps anyone any questions just ask and we'll see what we can do to give you a hand until then guys happy flying stay safe and enjoy the hobby see you in the next video bye for now